Hello, and welcome to Clabber Girl's Culinary Kitchen. I'm Chef Amanda Shook, the executive chef here at Clabber Girl. Um, we are doing another recipe today from one of our first Friday dinners. So it's February, which means Mardi Gras time, Cajun food, which was the theme of our last dinner. Uh, this is our take on a dish that is quite popular, um, kind of traditional in New Orleans, which is the barbecue Cajun shrimp. So this is the twist that we put on it for our uh, chef's night dinner that we have the first Friday of every month. So I'll just get started. Um, very simple, minimal ingredients. So I have butter melted in my pan, and I'm going to add to that um, to begin our sauce, garlic, fresh squeezed lemon juice, some Cajun seasoning. So Cajun seasoning, um, you can find a brand you like. It's typically just a mixture of uh, peppers, cayenne, um, paprika, garlic, just a spice mixture. So different brands have different ratios of spices. Find one you like or make your own. And Worcestershire sauce. Stir this around just a little bit. So that's the base of our sauce, and then wouldn't it be New Orleans Cajun without our crystal hot sauce? So this depends on how spicy you like it. The recipe that I'm going to provide online has a half a cup, but I'm going to put a half a bottle in mine because I like it really spicy. That's definitely a, a two-taste thing. And into that, I'm just going to melt some chilled cubed butter. Okay, salt and pepper. Now, while our butter's melting, we'll deal with our shrimp. So typically with this dish, it is shell on shrimp. Um, we are just doing tail on, otherwise shelled and de -vein. So I'm just going to lay my shrimp out on a baking sheet. And to that, more garlic and lemon, lemon wedges. Okay, so I'm going to bake this at 350 for about four minutes just until it gets pink on the outside. Um, it can still be a little bit underdone in the middle because we're going to add it to our hot sauce to finish it off that way. So once you... Baked it in your oven, comes out like this. Like I said, it may be a little underdone in the middle, but we want that so that we don't overcook our shrimp when we add it to our hot sauce. Smells really good. All right, so once you pull it, add uh, the shrimp to our sauce, lemon wedges and all. Don't need to pick those out. It's just going to be additional flavoring for our sauce. And then we'll just toss this all together. So you can see this dish comes together fairly quickly. We'll just pretend that it's been a couple minutes and our shrimp is cooked through. So really just two or three minutes till it's simmering a little. Your, sh your shrimp is cooked through and had a chance to take on the flavor of the sauce that you've created. So we'll just jump ahead and pretend that's happened already. And then we're going to plate. So traditionally or typically this is served kind of family style. Um, big bowl of barbecue shrimp in the center of the table and everybody can just dig in. We served it individual portions, so a big nice plate like this. Plenty of sauce. Let's do it this way. Get a couple of our lemon wedges. And this will be served with just some nice crunchy bread to soak up all your little juices. If you would like a copy of this recipe, it'll be on our website at clavergrill.com. And hope you enjoy. Thank you.